Di, you don't have a cochlear implant. You've got a different type of um, yeah, device right. that helps you to hear. What is yours? Well, I've got hearing aids. Um, I started by deafness when I was five, and I became deaf when I have measles. And um, obviously, I was fitted with the old Madresco hearing aid, the big box around my neck. It used to come out at story times at the school, and I, oh, I used to hate it. Um, but then, obviously, as time went on, the hearing aids got smaller and smaller. So um, when I got to my 20s, because I was very conscious about that, it was still quite big behind my ear, but uh, obviously I had longer hair then. I was covered my, hair, my hearing aid up because I was so conscious about it. But well, obviously, over the years, my hearing's got worse, and also with my job, because I worked as a nurse at the hospital, it was very difficult because the first time round, when we had SARS and HIV, the personal protection equipment started coming into our department quite early, and... Um, Masks then became a bit of an issue for me, and um, I fought very hard with my manager to get shields, the clear visors, um, so that I could do that at work. But I didn't know anything about access to work or anything until I retired, which was too late, obviously. But um, no, we, they were very good on that at the hospital, actually, which is a shame because um, if I'd have known then what I know now, I'd have probably been more advanced in a lot of things. Um, I was discriminated against at work because of my deafness, which if I'd have known then what I know now, I... I could have taken it further, but um, obviously I didn't want to. But um, it's challenging. It's very difficult sometimes. It's frustrating more than anything, I think, being deaf. Um, so the certain extent that people don't always um, appreciate how hard it is when you lip read and... Um, you need to speak clearly, and the telephone is very, very, very difficult. So, thank goodness for WhatsApp and um, emails and modern technology now that I can communicate much more with people. And um, groups like you um, here together are just amazing for people to have some contact and, you know, some somebody there to hold your hand if you need help anyway we get there and hopefully clear visors will be all in the vogue soon and we'll all be wearing them so you two are great support to each other aren't you diane mel you um support each other because you both know what it's like to have a hearing loss and um I know it's, you've said it's important, even though you both have very different hearing technology, um, you have similar issues. Because you were saying, I think, Di, you said with the visors, masks are really difficult, aren't they? Like in supermarkets. Mel yeah. Mm. I think we can talk the same language, Di. You know what the other one means. Definitely. You do, don't you? You can find that rapport with someone. So I know what you mean about the support yeah it's not always there at the very professional level it's finding your own little niche and, you know and i wish i'd had more of that when i was at work definitely i didn't know half of it really it just wasn't available mm -hmm. nice 